hey what is up everyone welcome back to future coders today in this video we are going to be building this simple javascript project that is we are going to be building a gallery image gallery and let's have a look at it what exactly are we going to be building in this video and as you can see this is the main image and these are the uh, many images and user can actually click on uh, of the click any of the images as you can see it's actually loads in the main image and he can click on any image as you can see this is going to be a very simple and very fun project to build yeah your guys are going to learn lots of things we'll only be writing simple uh, like four lines of javascript code to do this yeah that's going to be really fun yeah before we actually start building this please make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to smash that subscribe button and let's start building this So here I have already created uh, three files index.html, styles.css and script.js and I will link them together. Alright, let's add, start adding JavaScript. We'll have an uh, image uh, div with an ID of image gallery. So in the, inside this image gallery, we are going to have an image uh, with an ID of main image. So for the source is going to be uh, the link which I got from the pixels. So that source is going to be this one. Don't worry all the source code for this project. I'll be providing a link to the in the description box below which you can go ahead and download the source code. You can also view the source code. It is actually a blog on my website. You can uh, access it for free. All right. And uh, yeah, this is the main image, main image container right so here i will create a div with an id of thumbnail container right so for thumbnail container this thing is going to have six images i'm just gonna copy these and paste it over here since yeah these links you can get it from the description below as i said I'll be providing the link to the source code of this project. You can actually grab that. And yeah, once we are done with HTML part, let's move on to the CSS part. So as usual, we need to clear out the default margin and uh, padding being applied by the browser. So padding zero and box sizing to border box. And for the body, I'll set the background color as this thing light beige color all right now let's target the image gallery the entire container so for this i am going to set the width of 35 rem and the margin 4 rem to the top and bottom and auto to the left and right so that it centers everything and we actually need to target the main image right so that's what it's big so let's target the main image we have already given an id so let's target that so here so main image so for the main image i'm going to set a width of 100 percent and a background color of white we're not going to see it yet but because i will be adding a padding and now you can see it and let's also add a box shadow of uh, RG, RGBA 0 for the red, green for 0 for green and 0 for blue and oh, alpha value is going to be 0 0.08 and that's pixels, 4 pixels and 12 pixels. So there we have a light box shadow. So once we are done with that, let's uh, target this thumbnail container so this thumbnail container for the thumbnail container we will be using display flex all right so display flex justify content it should be justify content to the center and uh, margin top to rm all right and for the thumbnail for the thumbnail as you can see for the image each is having a class of thumbnail right that we are actually targeting now that is actually a class so 
so for thumbnail i'll be adding those things yeah as you can see there we have our images let's actually make it a bit bigger so that you can see yes let me just yeah as you can see there we we also have this cursor pointer so whenever i hover on this image the, our cursor actually turns to pointer so now the only thing that is left now is adding javascript so let's get thumbnails all the thumbnails by doing document dot query selector let's do query selector all and uh, as you remember it's going to have a class name of thumbnail right so we are going to get all the image uh, elements which are having the class name thumbnail all right and here let's add uh, let's also get the main image document dot get element by id and here i can get main image all right let's actually loop add a loop for loop normal we will use a normal for loop so let i is zero we'll start from the zero i is less than thumbnail start length and we'll increase uh, this is the normal for loop so whenever we need to add for each thumbnails we need to add an event listener and listen for the click so whenever a user let me just yeah whenever a user clicks on the thumbnail so the main image source is going to be this dot src what we are doing here is so if i click on this image we are assigning the source of this image to the main image that is this image so if i click on this as you can see this source actually got uh, this image source is actually being applied in the main image so if i click on this as you can see you got the point right all right that's it for this project it was very simple and very uh, fun i guess and uh, yeah if you actually want the source code of this project you can head over to futurecodersweb.com yeah this is my website and you can actually yeah this is the one this is the one article which is uh, written for this project as you can see it's completely written art article which you can follow and actually build it the project by yourself and we have provided html code css and javascript code and uh, you can also download the source code by clicking on this download button all right that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and if you haven't actually subscribed to our channel please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to smash that like button and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching